Hey everyone, welcome back to Will's Bills Fan, where we open up the trench coat of our lives so that you can see everything. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, now that we're on our way, it's not really my day off. I took the day off because we have all this stuff scheduled on Wednesday and Thursday of each week, which used to be my days off. And my work told me, we need you to work Monday through Friday. So I said, okay. And they're continuing to give me my paycheck, so it's all good. We got it worked out. But I have to take time off during the week a lot to get these things done, because that's when normal life happens. But, yeah, but because we're going out of town for two months, it's like, on overdrive right now. I was trying to get all these appointments done before yeah. we got out of town, so you're taking a lot of time off. Yeah, we got stuff going on. But before we talk about where we're going right now, I, apparently Crystal has a question. Oh, yeah. It popped into my head about 10 minutes ago when you were standing in the kitchen with both kids, and both of them were, I was in the bathroom getting ready, <clears throat> and both kids were like, Mom! 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 And they do this all the time where I'm like, dad is right next to you. Like you have another parent. And I think they're just so ingrained in asking for mom because they're always with me or they're with me 90% of the time. But I don't know. I'm so sure... this is not a question. This is a chance for you to complain <laughs> about your life and then form it into a question like, do you guys have that happen too? Is that what you're trying to do? Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, think I just it's, find it, it's a very interesting social study that I would like to hear from other moms and even other dads. Well, here's a dad with an answer. <laughs> I already the know kids spend 90% of their time with you, and you, they get used to asking you for whatever they need. And then when I'm actually around, they just de they go to their default. And the other thing that conditions this reality or this thing they do is that when they start calling on me a lot of times I just tune them out not, not intentionally or whatever but if I'm doing is something it, I'm focused is it intentional? So, sometimes it is yeah because I don't want to stop doing what I'm doing so I'm really good at ignoring <laughs> distractions therein, yeah therein lies the I think the thing that dads have going for them which goes all the way back to tiny babies when we have the kids dads inherently can sleep through it all and you know maybe they'll hear it but they just don't the mom is like you sound kind of upset about this <laughs> I'm not. Maybe you shouldn't have had kids uh, i've already yeah. accepted <laughs> that this is the way it is i just find it very fascinating and really? honestly it just made me laugh this morning where i was like in the middle of doing three things and were with the kids and they're both like constantly and Nash he was from far away mom 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 like it he didn't even think in his head like maybe I should say mom yeah so if he did that to is. me I would be like dude stop like what <laughs> what do you need and then he'd be like I can't find my socks and I'd be like okay <laughs> go find someone that can help you out with that because I got something else going on yeah and even if I didn't I'm not gonna help you find your socks you're fully capable Run off now, you know, like, go do your thing. Yeah, and I will Which, fully admit that. I will not be a crutch for the kids when they've got two healthy legs. It's... Yeah, and I'll admit that's something I've been working on over the last year or so is to like really like not do everything for them because I have been like that. <sighs> Anyways, I just found that very entertaining. And I would love to hear it's this principle. some fun stories it's from our viewers. Whatever you allow will be embraced. That's true. And Whatever you <laughs> nurture will grow and thrive. That's that old saying. Whatever you promote will be extended and spread. All right, so you're going to have to cut out a bunch of content there because we're in nine minutes already. Maybe this will just be a 30-minute <laughs> day in the life. Yeah, see, see we'll if we can get people to watch we'll our lives for 30 minutes. We'll even edit. Right here today. We, should do, we should do a yeah. vlog one of these days where we just like... No editing. No edit vlog. <laughs> Without further ado, we are headed to American Male Wellness. And to give you the backstory, 
the last six to nine months has been absolutely crazy for us. Super stressful, tons going on, moving from Alaska, starting a new job, living with family, and everything in between. It's just been one of the craziest seasons of our lives. Incredibly challenging as far as our stress levels and all that, and our just our general happiness. We haven't been experiencing a lot of wins. It's been a lot of really hard challenges. And anyway, I just I've just fallen into this slump of not a lot of energy. <clears throat> hard to get, to get motivated to get up and do stuff. We've been trying to go to the gym, but a lot of times I gotta quit halfway through. I just peter out, you know. And <clears throat> what? I said Peter. 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 It did sound like you said you pee. A lot of times I just peter out right in the middle of a workout and I've gained around 20 pounds. I'm, I'm about 25 or 30 pounds heavier than I want to be. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, you're, you look fine. And I, I, but I haven't taken my shirt off, okay? You don't know what's really underneath this veil. And you don't want to know. Crystal can't help but make a face anytime she sees it. Holy moly! Okay. <laughs> and the kids do make fun of me a lot for my fat rolls and stuff. I've got fat rolls on my back that look like hot dogs kind of stacked up around my lats, you know? it's. But the kids are like the perfect test of honesty. And, and they tell me like, dude, why do you have that hot dog on your back? <laughs> And they'll come up and touch my fat rolls and stuff. It's, anyway, it's not where I want to be. I got to suck in to button my pants for work and stuff. And the, the bigger thing is I just am lacking energy. And I'm constantly feeling like, oh, you know. And I attempted to lose weight with some dieting and exercise. And it just, it's not working for one. Emery thinks I should get abs, which I keep telling her I have abs. They're just buried, okay? But <clears throat> I really want to feel alive. That's the most important thing, and I don't want to have to suck in to button my pants. So we're going to this clinic to see what they can do for me. And there's these men's clinics all over Las Vegas. These clinics, I think, offer stuff like testosterone replacement therapy and different what else do they do? What are all the men's problems? They deal with sexual health, essentially, when it comes to the male body. And they can offer supplements and hormone therapy and a lot of stuff. But, you know, I'm just going to go see what they can do for me. So that's where we're headed now. Who knows if any of it will actually work. But... I'm just in that spot. We are in that spot of investing in our health. So I would say yes, we're just kind of ratcheting up the investing in ourselves part. And it's all these little things that we've always wanted to do. We just have never pulled the trigger because they cost a lot of money. So we'll share with you guys later in the video what those specific things are, but it's an exciting time. The spending all the money part kind of sucks, but we've been saving and got the money which feels great to be able to finally pull the trigger and do these things that we've always wanted to do so yeah so we'll get to we'll get through this appointment real quick and then we'll share the what four or five other things that we're spending money on right now to to invest in our health one of them recommended by my grandparents so see you in a minute Many hours later. Okay, we just got to the gym. Uh, most expensive gym on the planet, but it's worth it for the kid program. So we're we're gonna get a workout in, and we just got through our our appointments for the day. At the the male clinic I went to, they all they did was draw my blood and then say, see you Saturday, where we're really gonna talk through options. But they gave me this paper, and it has on here just a bunch of potions that help with whatever you're dealing with. Sexual health, weight loss, anti-aging, brain health, gut health, 
skin and beauty, sports performance, the list goes on. So, I don't know, I'll go in Saturday, talk to the doc, tell him what I'm struggling with, which is basically losing weight and having energy and mental clarity and all that, and see what he recommends. And then Crystal went and got a B12 shot at a place, and so, yeah, anyway, this is all stuff we're doing, again, just to try to feel good physically and mentally, because if you don't feel good in those areas, life is just going to suck. I don't care how good things are going. But today was really interesting because we thought my appointment was going to be two hours and Crystal's would be like 10 minutes, and it was the reverse. And she dropped me off, and I waited for two hours basically in a parking lot which um, um, I think I'm over it at this point. I'm still pretty grumpy about it, but uh, yeah, a little bit of a hiccup in our day. So we'll go try to burn off the frustration in the gym. Let's do it. It's cold day. How was that workout? All right, so we just had a pretty good workout. As soon as we started it, we felt like we just got done with the workout, which is part of the reason we're trying to figure out our health is we just don't have any stamina or just, most people, it seems like they can get pumped up for a workout and kind of drive through it and then collapse at the end. But we, we struggle to get started and feel like crap all the way through, but whatever. Which it didn't used to be that way. Yeah, I think we, a long time ago, we felt like we could really get out there and just feel that adrenaline all the way through. But now it's like 300 milligrams of caffeine just to get in the door. <laughs> Who knows? But anyway, we're just gonna keep pushing because you can't just, you can't give up on working out. It has to be part of your life for the rest of your life. And that, we have that in our heads at least. But we're here at Costco, and the reason is because my grandparents have been giving us advice for a long time and we're finally gonna hold the trigger on this but it has to do with our teeth huh? we recently got our teeth cleaned and they confirmed what my grandparents were telling us all these years which is we need to go get the sonic air and they actually use that plus an oral b plus some other stuff <laughs> That I can't remember some flossers and all that they're super good to take care of the teeth and the kids turns out they have five cavities each so we've been dropping the ball and raising the kids right you know <laughs> we've but, been we've been wanting to get a Sonicare for a while yeah we've been but, using the quip yeah which, which is, it's fine but we're finally pulling the trigger on the the more expensive Sonicare 
and the kids Sonicare has a real cool app that promotes teeth health and it's like a game that the kids are real into so yeah so we're gonna go in here and get some new toothbrushes and might as well tell you right here too I went ahead and signed up for Invisalign <laughs> which I've been thinking about for years but the, it's so hard to to spend that kind of money on stuff I, like my teeth are a little jacked up but I don't care you know what I mean and th it's like they're not I, I should show I them got, your snaggle too there's one right there and but these, it's not these ones are kind of turned out a little bit I look a little dumb but not so dumb to where people would think like clearly we, anyway we're in that <laughs> we're in that phase in life where we're like you know what we got to get some wins somewhere we, <laughs> we need to like somehow get ourselves up off the ground and like start to get some wins and part of that is investing in our health so Invisalign is is $5,900 cash money <laughs> they they had a $500 off special and then they said we'll give you 5% off if you pay in full up front so it came out to like call it 4300 or something like that 42 something hey I goofed up the math 5900 minus 500 5400 minus like 250 off of that what did it come out to you you paid it I didn't pay it it was 5100 okay 5100 I thought you I goofed up the math because I don't have any I just did a workout I'm spent for the day <laughs> completely mentally physically all of it. and then they said we're gonna check with your insurance they may pay several thousand dollars toward Invisalign so there's a chance we, we could get reimbursed that amount but it's about a year program and I'm sure you've heard how they work it's invisible trays that you wear and it just straightens out your teeth so I'm gonna do it and we'll see in a year how how much <laughs> smarter I look <laughs> <laughs> anyway we're gonna go get these toothbrushes and I think we're gonna get we're gonna look at prices on TVs too because we're gonna be one of those families that has five TVs in our house <sighs> You know what I mean? Basically, everywhere you turn, there's a TV. But that way, no matter where you're at in the house, you never miss an episode of the ANS Way. Hey! -o. <laughs> <laughs> Amory's going back for her third sample. So good. She let you get a third? She was making something. <laughs> $2.99 for this one here. And I heard that these are your actual chargers, which is kind of cool. So you just stick it in the cup. But I don't know if we want that always on our counter. So we'll see what Jess thinks about that. Then there's these over here, which either way you slice it, you're going to have something you have to charge that on so you're always gonna have your toothbrush on your counter which is kind of fine a bummer for minimalists like us that like to have everything put away but this one's on sale and quite a bit cheaper than that one and then they have a third option over here which is only a hundred dollars so yeah we'll see which one Jess picks and then the replacements are on sale as well. Okay, there's three different options. Expensive, less expensive, least expensive. We're gonna see. Just get the most expensive one. <laughs> Which one did you choose? The most expensive. <laughs> because he loves his precious You get what you pay for. You don't mind the cup? I doubt that's the only way to charge it. It's not, and if it is, then what? It's not that bad. Just a quick update. We ordered the kids Sonicare's on Amazon and God bless America and Las Vegas. They're gonna be here tonight between five and 10 p.m. It's incredible. Unheard of in Alaska. <laughs> yeah. You're lucky to get stuff in three to five days. It could be yeah. weeks sometimes. It's a new freedom we're enjoying to be able to order something on Amazon and get it the same day. It's incredible. All right, so I was just editing this portion of the video that we filmed about four hours ago in the backyard and 
I couldn't hear any of it because of the infamous Las Vegas wind. So here we are again. Take two. Refilming re it. And what we were talking about was the last thing that really I'm doing for my health and well being, which is laser hair removal. And it's a total luxury item. You can shave, you can <laughs> wax, or you can grab a laser and just completely remove it permanently forever. So. Yeah. And I've done both shaving you know it's cheap but it takes up a lot of time waxing is expensive and it really hurts and laser i've never tried but my mother-in-law recommends it and happens to have a girl here in town that is way cheaper than anything in alaska that we have found so i'm gonna give it a shot <laughs> it could be totally painful and a total waste it of money it doesn't matter it's still <laughs> worth it because yeah if you never have to shave again, I imagine for a woman, that's going to save you hours and hours per month that you get back to mm -hmm. use whatever way you want. Yeah. So and that's cool. If this could be TMI, anyone out there that's ever had a bikini wax, it is probably one of the most painful things ever, but still yet for those of us out here, out there who like that, we still go back and we still pay outrageous amounts of money to be in pain for an end product that we <laughs> desire. So I, I think I will put up with a certain uh, level of pain with this laser uh, removal for the end product that I want. So we'll see uh, maybe I'll report back in, I think it's like an 18 month little uh, adventure to from start to finish. And so maybe I'll give a review here in a year and a half and let you know what I think. So, and it was 1500 yep. bucks for the whole thing? Yep. 1500 bucks. All said and done? Yep. Which time? It's Wait. In money. Sorry, my arm. <sighs> all right, we switched because her arm went out. But to <laughs> sum it all up, we've been in the season of pinching pennies, and for good reason. We want to get into our house and get it set up nice and get the kids' pool and all that stuff. And we really, really, really want to get into an investment property, and that takes a lot of capital. So, it's been for good reason, but at the same time, we've, we've been in a pretty challenging season where we've been stressed out and dealing with a lot of challenging moments. And we've been looking for ways to get wins under our belt because you got to have those in your life if you want to uh, have happiness and enjoy yourself overall. So we, we're constantly taking inventory and asking ourselves, what's the best thing we can do right now for for the moment and for our overall long game, which is to just live the best life we can and be as happy as we can, mm -hmm. as much as we can. And and right now that means spending money on ourselves and investing in our health and well-being. And even though these are luxury items, they're still going to, I mean, it already feels good having paid for some of these things, even though you know, they're not done yet. It feels good knowing like this is coming, this is going to happen. And yeah. that's carrying us. So that's the big idea behind these decisions. And we know that everyone has different opinions on this type of thing and it, it's fine. However you feel about it, however you think about it, it's all good. We have to do what we need to do and want to do. And so that's where we're at. Mm -hmm. So hope you enjoyed the video. Your arm is shaking. So, yeah, hit a like button. We love to see your comments, so leave yeah. one of those if, if you know how to. And see you again soon.